Japanese Pokemon card mail day. The best day of the year, of the week, of the month. I have a lot here. Like, I'm seriously, I, I have a lot. You think this is, you think I'm playing? No, I have a lot. And this isn't just because I bought a lot. No, see, I'm stupid. We know this. We've established this. I'm dumb. It all starts with Umbreon VMAX alternate art. You guys know the one that everyone's going a little bit crazy about at the moment. Long story, really funny story. Actually funny for you, not so much funny for me. But basically, when the set reprinted back in September of 2021, I jumped on basically the singles and I was like, this is probably the best it's going to get. And I bought the Umbra and VMAX, 45,678 yen. That's how much I pay. And I'm okay with that because now it's about 800 Australian dollars if you want to pick one up. Why is this a funny story, Julian? Well, simply put, I never found the card. I actually like never opened up the mail that had the card in it. So I don't even know if I've got it. This mail spans back to September of 2021. I literally have not opened anything up since the last time I did a mail day video. So we're back here again. Don't know what this is. I literally don't know what anything is. I'm so far behind on what I bought. Ah, yes, I remember these. Okay, so we got some waifus to kick it off. This is Sabrina from Tag Bolt and Erica as well. So those are two actually banging cards. I actually bought these when the waifu full arts were starting to heave again. Always when stuff's heaving. Look at this card. It is really nice. Sun and moon era full arts are really, really cool. People don't really appreciate them that much now with, I guess, Sword and Shield being the next big thing. This one's by Sanosuke Sakuma. So Sanosuke Sakuma, if you've been watching my videos, he is drawing a lot of full arts recently. This is fantastic. Look at that. Look at the texture on this one. Such a beautiful card. SM9 Tag Bolt. This was when GX Special Arts first got introduced. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, I did buy this when the price of it was actually starting to like rock it up a little bit. So Let's see how much I paid. Oh, this is not good. I paid 15,800 yen for Erica. She's now 8,480 yen. Considering the yen is the weakest it's been in years, that is actually disastrous. For Sabrina, I paid 3,480 yen. She's now 2,180 yen. Granted, these cards aren't really available anymore. Like they're starting to dry up, but that is that is actually horrific. Moving on. I don't mind that I paid what I did. I kind of just forget about it. I, I look at the bigger picture. Like I'm not out here penny pinching and being like, damn, I should have waited a little bit. This is a different story. These are the 25th anniversary collection. Come on, get out of here. I'm trying to be delicate and it, you just, okay, there we go. Come on, bro. Um, when the 25th anniversary collection came out in Japan, these are fantastic. Oh, I can't get over how good these look. Have a look at this. Right, we got Blastoise, we got another one. I bought a few of these. Oh, we got to get them out of the sleeve. The Mewtwo, I pulled this one, so I'm not as excited. And another Mewtwo, but still absolutely phenomenal. Look at this. Okay, I got I to gotta get these out of the sleeve. Look, look at that. Oh, man, that's what I'm bloody talking about. These are so good. Absolutely incredible. I'm gushing. I'm sorry. I just, I can't get over how good these look. And I hope you can appreciate it too. So I got two of those and they're so cheap now. They're actually like insanely cheap compared to what they were. Let's have a look at the Mewtwo. Don't want to disrespect it. Look at that. Texturing on these is just, there are a couple people that don't really like this confetti style texture, but I think it's absolutely fantastic. So these are really cool. And I know I got some other really good 20th anniversary cards sneaking around in these packages here. Now, what did I pay? Daddy does not keep secrets. It's a rare dub. It's a rare dub. I paid one down. 980 yen for each Blastoise. 2,480 yen. You take those dubs. How much was the Mewtwo? 780 yen when I bought it for each. 480 yen now. We take those L's. Given that the yen is much cheaper, technically it's still an L, but I will take that because those look amazing. But yeah, I don't know what it is about the Umbreon. It just started to spiral out of control. I actually started to like the fact that I didn't know what happened to it. Oh, did I get scammed? Oh, I hope I got scammed. Oh, imagine how funny it would be if I got scammed. One of these cards is in a top loader, which is is interesting. So when you buy cards from Japan, certain card stores, well, most don't really put cards in top loaders. You'll see here, a lot of these character rares are not in top loaders, obviously. Uh, but if it's a more expensive card, like the 5,000 yen and higher range, it will get delivered in a top loader. So we have the Gallade. We've seen these cards. We absolutely gush over Dream League. Torkoal. Oh, I bought a special art. Don't know why I did that. I think maybe because it was cheap. So we got another, oh, okay, I'll get that out of the sleeve. Oh, I bought the fishing rod. And I think that was because the fishing rod in my master set was damaged. So I was like, you know what? We need another one. And the drill bro as well. So, oh, the extra drill, sorry. Let's have a look at the texture on this one because special arts are just beautiful. Wowie. The special arts are basically like character rares of the GX cards. This one is phenomenal. Mega Mimizotani illustrated this one. That is so good. Just absolutely fantastic. What is behind door number three? What's in that top loader? I got a funny feeling I know what it is. It is, ah, okay, it's the Kyogre. This 
is the Concept Pack 1, the other rare from the Concept Pack 1. I think in the last Mail Day video, I opened up the Grudon. I bought two of those. Let me in. Absolutely love that they use masking tape, by the way. That is just, that just tickles me. I really do like that. Anybody who sends cards in top loaders with like regular tape, there is a special place in hell for you. You know what? I wouldn't mind seeing the Cracked Ice Holo come back. We haven't seen it since, I guess, GX Ultra Shiny. That is a long time ago. It's about three years now. Oh, look how good that is. The Cracked Ice Holo, probably one of like the top three. Watch Mojo, top three holographics for Pokemon cards. That is so good. You don't see this with English Pokemon cards, people. This is a Japanese Pokemon card thing. And this is why Japanese Pokemon cards just absolutely reign superior. This Kyogre is well and truly out of print. So it should not really be cheaper than what I paid. And the Dream League cards are long since gone. So let's have a look. All right, Gallade, I paid 480 yen. It's now 280 yen. How does that work? <laughs> The Excadrill, I paid 480 yen. It's now 280 yen. What's going on here? Torkoal, I paid 680 yen. It's now 680 yen. That's a rare dub. The Kyogre was 10,800 yen. It's now 9,000. 980 yen. I, I, we're going backwards here, people. The Silverly was 1,280 yen. It's now 1,080 yen. And the Fishing Rod. Please let me take a dub here. 580 yen. Red dub. Fishing Rod is now 780 yen. So we will take that tiny little... That's a fat L. Let's be serious. I am getting a little bit nervous about where, um, where this Umbreon will be. Now, I know inevitably I'm going to get asked questions about how I get my Pokemon cards from Japan, and I'm not purposely withholding that information. I'm actually changing the way that I do it. So if I was to have made a video about how I got these cards, I probably would have regretted it because I'm looking to switch services now just based on something that happened recently, which I need to show you actually. You'll, you'll understand well and truly why kind of a bit off what I've been using for the last couple of years now. So what do we got in here? So I do actually have it. It's real. Oh, wow. Okay, this is very exciting. This is very, very exciting. It's real. That actually felt like I pulled it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's been that long since I ordered it. So that actually feels like I found it. Now, let's be careful. All right. Let's have a look at this. So, oh, I don't know if you guys know Primal Lugia. He loves this card. And I'm about to find out why he does not stop raving about it. Have a look at this. Wow. This is the first time I'm seeing it in my hand. I have got the English version, but it just does not compare to this version here. This is honestly, that is really breathtaking. I did a special art tier list where I didn't put the Umbreon that high and I got a lot of flack for it. I'm starting to kind of regret it now. I'm starting to understand why this card is so highly rated. And the Japanese, the Japanese version is just incredible. Have a look at this. Have a look. Just like different texture on different parts of the card. So like there's texture on the roof of the cathedral of that spire there. There's a different texture on the sky in the background. You can see that, oh, the moon radiating has its own, like the light has its own texture against the clouds. That is just crazy. The glitter, oh, the look at the eye, the ruby of the eye. That is freaking amazing. This is just, yeah, I, I'm starting to understand why. It's just, it is so good. Look at that. Look at those, look at that different texture on like probably like 10 different parts of the card, even down on the street level. Look, even on the street level, look at this card. Just, just look at it. I, I, I can't, this is just something else when you see it in hand. That is absolutely incredible. I am glad it actually got delivered. Do we have any issues with it? I'm going to say no. I have like zero recourse if there is anything wrong with this because it was about six months ago that I bought it. So I think the front looks really good. I'm going to say just without coping, the front does actually look good. How do we look at the back? Do we have any scuff? No, this is actually minty. No, that's that's perfect. Breathe a sigh of relief. What do I do with it? Do I leave it on the map? I'm feeling ballsy today. I'm just going to leave it on the map. I'm just going to go and free ball it. Absolutely incredible there from Keichiro Ito. What a card. That's top shelf stuff right there, people. That is Norsh. I know this is a rare dub. 45,678 yen is what I paid. And now 67,800 yen. No signs of stopping. This is the chase card from EV Heroes. They were not easy to find. The set is out of print. It's reprinted twice. So there's been like three prints of it. I don't see it getting reprinted again because all the meta cards from the set have been reprinted in stuff like VMAX Climax. So it's pretty much done and dusted for EV Heroes unless for some reason they just decide, you know what, we really like money. Let's do it again. Now I know I've got some other EV Heroes special arts in here. This is one, I think. Got to build the suspense up a little bit. Like I said, I waited, I waited, I waited, and then I picked them up. Is this one? 
No. Oh, this is another actual slapper. This is from Matchless Fighters. That's another set that really needs a reprint, but I don't see it getting one anytime soon. This is the Moltres, if you have no idea what this is. It is from Chilling Rain, but it's also... Oh, and the Umbreon Gold Star. Yeah, let's go. Let's get it, baby. Let's get that sticker out of the way. Oh, yeah. This is a crazy card. This one is by Shibuzo, and I never pulled it. As much as I enjoyed opening Matchless Fighters, I had to call it quits after a while. Look at this. Wow, that is just stunning. Let the card do the talking. Look at the trees at the bottom, the eyes in them, whichever Pokemon are there in the trees there. This is just symmetry. It's just the perfection of symmetry. What is it about moon? Put the moon in the background and instantly the card just like elevates. I've been meaning to pick up the English version from Chilling Rain because I think it's, I, I think considering how hard these cards are to pull and how good they look, the price of it, it's like, you know, 120, 150 Australian dollars. The price of it is like a bit of a no-brainer. You know what I mean? Like if you bought a booster box for that much and you walked away with this card, an English booster box, you'd be pretty happy. So rather than buy the booster box, why not just buy the single card itself? That makes a little bit of sense to me. That is great. And the other card that we have is the Umbreon Gold Star from the 20th anniversary collection, which is, you know what? Just kind of criminally undervalued. This one is a little bit off center, but look at that. Look at the hollow. Look at the texture. Look at that confetti. This is a fantastic card. Umbreon, you're so photogenic. No matter what card you're in, it just absolutely slaps. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff by Masakazu Fukuda, the original illustrator of the card and all those gold star cards, absolutely fantastic stuff. Okay, I think we're on with another red dub here. 11,999 yen for the Galarian Moltres V Special Art and it's now 15,800 yen. So Matchless Fighters is getting harder and harder to find. Reprint probably not happening considering it's over a year old now. That's a red dub. Goodbye there, J-Love. And the Umbreon from the anniversary packs, 2,999 yen is how much I paid and it's 3,980 yen now. So that is another red dub. You would take those. I'm going to show you something real quick while I'm gone. Like and subscribe. Okay, I'm back. Now this is opened and you might be saying, J-Love, what in scammers tarnation? I came here to see the parcel get opened. Well, this is how it was sent to me. So obviously when it got sent to the parcel forwarder in Japan, it was sent in an envelope, but most parcel forwarders will open your mail, right? Which is whatever. I, I trust the way that they handle them over there, but I didn't like the way this one came to me. It came in a big box. I usually ship stuff back with other boxes so that when they send the mail to me, it's all in a, a box, a parcel, because I feel like that's like a more secure way to send stuff overseas. But this was just chucked into the box, the parcel with like other hard stuff like booster boxes, uh, a deck case, a rubber mat, things that could damage it, just sort of floating around. So this came from Yuyute, which is a Japanese card store. And I don't blame them. I'm just kind of like confused why this came basically naked. Now, I don't know what the condition of it is. I don't know if it got damaged in transit. If it did, I don't know what my recourse is, but we're about to find out what happened with these ones here. So. Okay, it is the Greedent V Special Art. Looks like we got some fusion. Yeah, we got some fusion art special arts. Nice. So I picked these up while I got cheap. And the Chandelure as well. I think I bought this because there's an error with the Chandelure. And I wanted to pick it up before the price potentially spiked up. Now let's get them out of their sleeves. I feel like these are just such underrated cards. Like special arts in general, unless they're like the chase card from the set. People don't really care about them, which is just weird because all special arts... They're, they're fantastic cards. This one's by Akira Komiyama. Green and V is a meta card at the moment as well. So I'm surprised this was as cheap as it was. I love the Smeagol in the background there. Look how cool this is. Uh, Greedent. I've been calling Genesect Greedent for the last like minute. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let's actually have a look at the Greedent. <laughs> I found this in a box that I opened up a couple weeks ago. So don't mind having a double of this at all. Really nice card by Saya Tsuruta. And I love that they're carrying the berries there as well. That's just like a nice extra touch. Adds a little bit of flavor to the card. So, oh, look how that, you can see how like Greedon is embossed and the background is like on a separate layer. I cannot show that any better than the camera is showing it right now. That is beautiful. And the Chandelure, which is just the hyper rare. I know, I know most people are kind of like tired with, come on, seeing hyper rares. Most people want to see rainbow, rainbow rare hyper rares go. Japanese hyper rares, they actually slap. Like they, they have, again, that extra level of texture makes them a little bit more desirable in my opinion. Can't tell off the top of my head if that is the one with the error or not. I cannot remember. I think it's got something to do with the eye. I honestly cannot remember if this is the error one or not. As for what I paid, I literally have no idea. The UUT members portal is actually quite 
frustrating to to navigate and i don't really feel like going through right now now i'm going to do one last one because i bought some cards for a friend and i still haven't given them to her and the reason why i haven't given them to her is because i haven't opened my mail and she's been waiting very patiently i think this could be them if not you're gonna have to wait just a little bit more laddie until i do the next one of these videos and that's gonna depend on if you guys like these videos or not otherwise laddie i'm never gonna open up a package again so basically it depends on if people like subscribe and leave a comment in the link down below there is no link and laddie i think you're in luck here we go we got some eevee heroes special art and hyper rares so the glaceon uh, i do that every time the leafion i have like a form of dyslexia when it comes to glaceon and leafion the jolteon laddie you are in luck this is one of the cards that i bought you and the Sylveon, oh my god, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not getting this wrong. The Hyper Rares of Sylveon, Umbreon, and Glaceon. I won't bore you guys to tears with those Hyper Rares because I know they're not everyone's favorite, but we will have one cheeky little look at this Jolteon and I've just got to show you how fantastic the texture is on it. Look at this, Jolteon V by Nagimiso. This is a promo in English, which I'm sure you guys know. It was a chase card or one of the cards you have to find in Eevee Heroes. It's almost like it took a bit of inspiration from Akira Egawa. Like Akira Egawa, she always has a cityscape background in her cards. And Nagimiso kind of maybe drawn from that a little bit. And funnily enough, I have the first card that Nagimiso illustrated, actually one of the first two, it was the Grudon and the Kyogre. So you can see how far they've come. And I reckon like their first card was phenomenal. Their latest or one of their recent ones is just as good. Now give me saw one of my favorites. So if you like the video, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we will do this again because I got a lot of mail to open. See you guys. And I'm taking this with me, laddie.